If we didn't tell you, you probably would never notice. But today, the final pile of coal went into the Drake Power Plant downtown. Yes, it is considered by most nowadays to be an eyesore, a relic from a different time when people had different priorities. But for nearly 100 years, Drake has provided two components critical to any city, good jobs and reliable energy. In June of last year, when the CSU Board of Directors voted to completely shut down the plant by 2023, there was still a mountain of coal behind it, arriving once a week by train from Wyoming. But now the coal train doesn't stop. The final delivery to Drake was three weeks ago, and the last of it went onto the conveyor belts and into the furnace at 11.04 a.m. It was 1925 when the plant first opened on Conejo Street downtown, named after longtime city councilman Martin Drake, a strong supporter of city-owned utilities. At that time, coal was the modern and preferred fuel to generate power, and few were concerned about greenhouse gases or what development could have occupied the property instead. As of just a few years ago, Drake wasn't supposed to close for at least another 10 years. And while public outcry over the plant and the desire for new development where Drake sits were factors in this transition, the biggest driving force was the fact that coal is no longer the most economic option. The price of generating coal became more expensive than we could actually buy power on the spot market. So that didn't make sense to continue to generate coal at an economic loss. I know there's some people who think, oh, they bowed to environmentalists. Or No, I think what really ac accelerated this was obviously taking those things into consideration, making sure we had stable power, but just pure economics. With an output of 225 megawatts, Drake was a powerhouse. But CSU says its other plants, along with a growing amount of power from solar and wind, will have no problem filling that void. There's no question that this is a step forward for the city, for CSU, and for the environment. But for the 40 or so employees that keep the plant running, many of whom who have been here for decades, this step forward isn't as easy as it is for you and I. It's very emotional, right? We've all kind of been saying it's like a death in the family. Summer Meese is the plant manager and admits the change isn't easy. I get where we need to go. I see the advancement in technology. I understand that this is old and, and being in a metropolitan area and being one of the last ones, I understand that. Um, being in this industry as long as I have, it's hard. You know, you grow up with it, sentimental attachment. Um, so it's a big change for everyone. According to CSU, all but one of those workers already had